Guys, I just got off work. I still have my computer glasses on. You see that? <laughs> I got three banchans for you today. I could ramble on and on and on about what I'm gonna make today, but today I'm gonna keep it cool and we're gonna start now. start with the easiest one garlic tofu fry use medium firm or firm tofu throughout the water and this is around 300 grams stand it and slice it down the middle then make a window paper towel on a plate tofu on top we're gonna pat it down with a kitchen towel so that you can get the crispy skin and then slice them thinly and guys we're gonna make a quick dipping sauce one tablespoon of soy sauce in just a dab of sesame oil two squirts of vinegar one two and just a shake of sesame seeds and this is gonna be your dipping sauce put it on a medium heat put some neutral oil put the garlic in we want this garlic to release its flavor and sizzle and play in its little pool once you start to see it slightly browning like this now pick up the garlic pieces and put it in the separate pan and we're gonna add these later so the tofu is dancing in the garlic oil. We're gonna flip this tofu now. Take your time. Wow, look at the browning on the tofu. Let's get the same browning and crispiness on the other side. Put it on a paper towel so it can soak up the oil. And then let's plate. Put the garlic pieces on top. Move the dipping sauce to this prettier plate. So I like to cut this in half. Take a small piece. Take a garlic piece. Hold them together, dip them in the soy sauce. Mmm! You have to fight for those garlic pieces, okay? This is mogi mushroom. In English, they're called earwood mushrooms. And in Korea, when trees grow old, they grow ears and we just chop them off. <laughs> we have 20 grams and we're gonna soak them in cold water for 30 minutes. When they soak in the water, they turn big. Okay, what we have to do now? Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar in. One, two. One teaspoon of minced garlic. Two shakes of salt. One teaspoon of sugar in. Boing. Give it a taste. Nice. I love the balsamic vinegar taste. Cucumber, size of your forearm. In half, the hot dog way, and then just cut them at an angle like this. Put about a teaspoon of salt. Let it sit for 10 minutes so the water can come out. Take a look how big this thing turned into. It turned into a monster. We're gonna drain and give it a nice rinse. Okay, now the water is boiling. We're gonna put them in, blanch them for one minute. Drain the water. Take a look at this. If you see the middle, you'll see this portion that's not the same color. This part is top. And we're just gonna tear this piece out. The remaining leaves, just tear them into bite-sized pieces. This one is big, so we're gonna split it in half. And then we're gonna squeeze the water. Now the cucumbers should be able to bend and wash off the salt. Squeeze the water out of the cucumber. Put the wood ear mushrooms in, add the cucumber. Give the sauce one more mix because the sugar might have settled at the floor. Nice. Mm, I already start to smell it. And at the very end, put a dab of sesame oil. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna give it a taste. It's really refreshing. We're gonna be using fresh squid. This is one full squid. And this is already been cleaned. Gonna cut off the end tips here because it touches the ocean floor. And Daniel has a detailed version of this in his grill squid video and check that out if you want more details. And there are suction cups on the tentacles and somehow my favorite part, what you're gonna do is take it from the top and slide it all the way down. And you see all the suction cups here, it's kind of gross. It feels good. All right guys, I took out the beak. We're just gonna separate the legs and then we're gonna dice into small cubes. 
We're gonna use all of the legs, but only half the body. Cut it in half. Gonna do thin strips. Go get in there with your knife. And rinse these guys under cold water. So fresh and so clean, clean. Now we're gonna dice these button mushrooms. We got two. Okay, looks about done. Then fourth of an onion. Finished. Carrot, use your pointer finger and cut at the second crease. Voila, carrot done. Spring onion, use forearm lengths. By the way, if you don't want to use squid, you can always use shrimp. I mean, I like them both, but today I feel like squid. Dump all the ingredients in a mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna drop in two eggs. In. And add one teaspoon of salt. Before we add in flour, we're gonna mix the egg together. All right, it looks a little bit foamy like this. Five tablespoons of flour. If you have Korean pancake mix, which is puchimgaru, use that. One. <laughs> this sounds like me hitting Danny on the forehead. <laughs> Give it a nice mix. Nice and thick. We're looking for something like this. Okay, put this on a medium heat. Put a good amount of oil. Just grab a spoonful and then place them gently on your frying pan. So the first batch never come out as good. So give them to your younger sibling. Sizzle, sizzle, grizzle, grizzle. Flip it once, wait for the other side to be crispy. Then we're gonna flip them back. Okay, done with the first batch. Just gonna put them on a plate with a paper towel so that the oil can go. Voila, dinner is ready and it's time for some tasting. I'm just gonna do a half a bowl of rice because we have so many stuff to eat. Let's get started, no time to waste. Gonna try the squid fritters first. It's just about the size of my face. We're gonna dip it in the sauce. This is the most anticipated dish of the night. Mmm! So good! Take a dab at the mushroom ears. Mushroom ears? <laughs> Take a dab at the wood ear mushrooms. Mmm! Mmm! How cool! It's really refreshing. You know what? Now I really need to concentrate. Ciao guys!